So a little over an hour ago, we got this statement from Hamas, from the leader of its political wing, and it looked like a breakthrough. Ismail Haniye, the head of Hamas's political wing, saying that he had informed the Egyptian and Qatari mediators that Hamas had accepted the ceasefire proposal that was on the table. Now, the U.S. has been urging Hamas for more than a week now to accept this ceasefire deal. But I just got off the phone with an Israeli official, and there is a hitch. It is not clear at this point how big a hitch, but the Israeli official is saying that the proposal Hamas has agreed to is not the same framework that Israel agreed with the mediators. What we have here are two separate texts. It is not clear how different they are from each other, but what we have is one text that Hamas has agreed to, another text that Israel has agreed to. The Israeli official tells me that the proposal Hamas says it can go with is now being studied at the absolute highest levels of the Israeli government, trying to figure out if it is something that Israel can live with also, and that Israel will respond. So after what seems like a real moment of hope, there is now confusion. I can tell you there are protesters, families of the Israeli hostages who are gathered not far from here in front of the Israeli Defense Ministry. They are repeating the demands they have been making for these seven months now that Israel's government make a deal, and they are hoping and praying that this is the breakthrough they've been waiting for. Guys.